This content is the property of Put It Out There TV, also known as PIOT TV, a property of the House of Yasha Ala L Trust. If you are viewing and or listening to this content on a non-PIOT TV branded platform, then we kindly ask that you stop and flag this content for copyright infringement. Thank you. Of course, um, uh, my favorite MC, I would say, is Scarface. Um, he, I don't know if he's just fully an MC, just in a different category to me, but Scarface, Love Nas, Andre 3000, um, Big L, Tupac, um, just, a, just a plethora of MCs there. But those are, you know, more or less some on the top. Method Man, definitely, as well as Method Man and Ice Cube. I like those who are... Uh, well, also during the times of like the, the revolution of, of hip hop, like the revolutionary movements, uh, public enemy and stuff like that. Right, right. So that was a lot of influence. And uh, even R and B, like Stevie Wonder and artists like that. Like I use, I listen to a lot of this stuff, and it might have maybe like little clips and samples and stuff like that too as well. Indeed, indeed. So, who would you work with today if you could? As far as uh, industry wise, industry wise, if I could work with today, um, I definitely would like to work with J. Cole just on the, like the, his creativity. I would love to work with Andre <coughs> 3000. Um, I would like to do a project with Gwen Stefani if I could from the former group, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> I'm diverse. I'm diverse. So I just, you know, I, it would be a lot of different people that probably. Most uh, artists who were in the rap wouldn't do. Uh, I, I would do Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right. Get like live, put some live music and stuff like that. And uh, definitely Nas, you know, if I could ever come across a Nas or a Royce the Five Nine. Those, some, I think those would be some amazing features. Um, locally, I would like to, you know, I would like to work with a lot of the artists that are from our hometown. Uh, L.I.L. the God. Shout out to L.I.L. the God. Indeed. Um, uh, the Raymond Spex Cannon, you know, I, I would love to work with him. Uh, there's a, let's see, I worked with Mo Beats. Shout out with Mo Beats. We could work again. Definitely uh, shout out to Mo Beats. It, it, it's, it's, it's quite a bit, you know what I mean? There's so many people that I see coming up. Uh, I would like to get a lot of that, but y'all should all listen to it. I don't know if anybody heard that. <laughs> I dig that all day, cause Ohio is the heart of it all. I, I think I think I think we are a, a serious force to be reckoned with. I think like you know, Bone Bone was back in the day, and, we, and they and they opened the door. People want to discredit Bone and, and our style of flow here in Ohio and, 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 our, and our struggle, but we we really make noise, and a lot of a lot of states have came through here and they shout us out on the map because of how we do it. You know? Right, right. Shout out to Bone Thugs and Harmony as well. The brothers definitely was uh, some of my inspiration for sure, for sure. Shout out to all of them. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. So you're doing the independent thing. That's a good way to come out. What type of um, uphill battles do you think you'll deal with on the on the independent side? And you you feel and do you feel you're ready to deal with them? Um. Well, I definitely know, uh, I definitely know on the independent side, you know, not even, not even being stereotypical, just because of the melatonin on the face, it's going to look, it's going to look sour to, to some of these businesses out here that they, you know, they're not going to want to, they're not going to want to buy to the face that goes with the product. But with the, uh, with the mindset that I got, uh, I feel like it, it can go, it can go far there. Um. And just, you know, you know, there'll be people and, and things and, and, and situations that would want to, you know, don't talk about the past, but uh, like I said, I, I'm more comfortable with who I am today and I, and I know who I am. And on that scale, you know, those type of things, you know, they'll, they'll try to get in the way of the business, but they won't. Um, as far as like with distribution and things like that, that, 
that will be a, a, a uphill battle. But I'm independent, so it's more about negotiations and deals rather than me selling out myself for something that they have to offer me. It's my offer, what I'm willing to offer them for whatever they are willing to, you know, put on the table rather than me, you know, being on the bottom hand of everything. I actually have a seat at the table, you know. Right. Own and can make sure you keep ownership of the master maestros. <laughs> the masters. <laughs> for real, for real. So if any if if there are any artists that are looking to possibly, you know, get signed or anything, are you are you looking for artists, you accepting uh demo submissions, anything like that? Yeah, I am uh, I'm accepting I'm accepting demos. Uh I'm looking to sign artists. Uh in uh in probably at the beginning of, of the the new calendar, uh, I'm going to be looking to hire into like you know employment of people to do like management or if they want to be on the uh, production side of things. You know what I mean? I'm I'm going to be trying to employ. You know, like I said, this is a this is bigger than just you know me being just a, a rapper from a, a small city and everything like that. I want to create opportunities so. For those people who are like, you know, we got those people who are like so highly intelligent with their phones and technology. They're on Facebook doing all these new photoshops and stuff like that. I'm like, you know, these people could be doing something, something on a bigger scale. And I, I would like to, you know, help them create an opportunity. You know what I mean? Help them create an opportunity to open the door for them in the, in the next. And so, uh, like I said, with that, I just hire people and I am looking for artists I'm going to be trying to uh, put together a compilation project so if any artists out there you know what I'm saying want to drop a single or it, it does not have to be a beat by crazy metaphors as well either um, we just want to make sure we get paperwork and everything agreed upon so that way you know what I mean you get you get your fair, your fair earnings and we get you know our fair earnings for working as a team in tandem so I do have that going on too. If any artists want to work on a compilation or beat product producers, um, videographers want to work on a compilation, I do have that. So you can check the email or check the website. Um, I like to I can give you that link. Yes, indeed. We got that on the screen right now. The information is on the screen, everybody, as you can see. But just in case, because we may also convert this to audio. The email address is kmproductions17 at gmail.com. That's K as in kite, M as in Mike, productions with a K and a Z, 1717 at gmail.com. Also, make sure to stop by and check the website out, KM Productions. Same thing, productions with a K and a Z dot com. Y'all hit up that social media as well. All support and followings will most definitely um, be appreciated. You know, we got to definitely root for the underdogs. I like rooting for underdogs, so that's what we got to do. Make sure you support these people that are still out here um, creating music from the heart and not just doing the cartwheel because they see that a cartwheel works for the other artists. You know, it's a lot of people out here sounding the same. Um, making music from other regions of the country that don't sound like that's where they from. So definitely support people that are still making music from the heart and from the soul. And it's not cookie cutter for real, for real. That's, that's definitely what it is. And Kaza quiet is, is one of those artists most definitely. So y'all make sure y'all check that brother out. Now, um, you got the album coming out. What's what's the name of the album that you're going to be releasing? Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, so about the yeah, I am. Uh, I stand in the works of a five part uh, mixtape series called the Affirmation Tapes, and uh, I am. I just got done shooting the video for uh, I Am the Rain County, which is going to be on Volume One which is I am speaking to existence or speaking into existence. And um, that one is it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a, a small, not too long extended mixtape, but it's going to consist of probably about seven songs or so. Um, of course, all the affirmations and 
basically the affirmation tapes, like I said, are just speaking things into existence and creating a new vibe in, in, into into the music game, into the music industry. Like you were just saying, not uh, uh, not to fight off, but just to uh, piggyback off of what you were saying about not sounding like when you're from a different state and stuff like that. Like I said, Ohio has some of the most 